Hi, welcome to this machine. We are working on an Arch Linux B deeping system. And um, the topic is how to auto start applications in deeping. But it could have been as easily as how to auto start applications on any Linux desktop. So that's the goal. We need to have a conkey here and it should be auto launched at boot. So how do we do that? Um, if you can provide me with an answer in the sense that it's in here and there's an application to do that, please do so under in, in, in YouTube here. But I did not find it. So Deeping does not seem to have any similar kind of, that other systems have, like an auto start or something, a start a way to start applications like Mate has and Cinnamon has and so on. So many have. Um, so if I'm wrong, just share the knowledge. But here, there's the second place I would go and look for it. So going over all these elements, I did not see it, didn't come across it. So I'm gonna make a tutorial to, for any desktop environment without using the desktop environment that you're on, you can always auto start applications like for instance, Discord, like Dropbox or InSync or anything, anything that's not auto started, you can auto start it yourself. So how do you do it? And um, we're gonna use Conky as an example, and this desktop is deeping. We're gonna use that as a tutorial. So we need to go to File Manager, the deeping file manager. We go to the home, control H, and inside the .config, there is a folder called auto start. That's the folder you need to go into. This is the folder that will give you all the solutions. Now, before you go to to the net or, or go to um, to look for something, so we want to go to the internet. So there is Firefox already installed, so that's good. You go and look for a solution. You always Google, right? We need some code, and we're gonna get the code from the net. How to how to start? applications deeping that's probably something that would that we would have typed in and here is it has a link that sounds promising deeping auto start applications new corner and this is exactly what i need this is the dot config the auto start and we need to have this in there so i'm going to show you what to do copy and we're going to make a new document plain text document saying this is going to be my copy but of course it's not text it's our desktop so you have to name it as an extension desktop and then enter then we're gonna open it with open with sublime text like so control v and now we have to make it better of course um, the name is conky executes as the second line so one line is enough what do we need to execute? Discord, Dropbox, InSync? No, it's a conkey. You have to know the name of that thing. So, what's the name? The name is, in our case, AM Conkey something. It's not to edit something, it's not a pin, it's not a conkey zen. I'm gonna show you what a conkey zen is. You don't want to boot up with that, no. You want to boot up with the session itself. So, it's actually this one you need am conkey with a dash session and then it's going to read a file which is at some place if you started the conkey session right so if the conkey session is done conkey zen right choose for instance like i always do in tutorials the nemesis one okay let's get and let's put this one Ooh. well let's put him there Go away. So we have the conkey here. The long, the name is a bit long, so we need to place the icon a little bit higher, or just delete the icon. And um, at this point in time, it has created something in your system as well. And that's a file. The conkey here. There is what the system does is look at this file, conkey session file. So now there is this file saying, hey, you should start the conky and that one and sleep, All right? So that's what this am conky session is going to do. It's going to 
I'll load up uh, this conky session and conky file. So I do wonder why he's not showing the name now. So what we need to do is execute your action am conky session. I think it was like that. Let's do again a check am conky dash or no dash. There is a dash like so. There are no, no typos allowed. So that's the way to launch our conky. It's an application, name conky, execute that one, start up notify false, terminal false. Fine, save. So next time we'll see if we reboot, you'll see that uh, it's going to be there. Now this is a virtual box. So Eric, you can try it out, log out and log back in and see if it works. It always takes a little while, so it needs to read all these figures and files and execute scripts and all that. And CPU temperature is empty. Don't uh, sweat it. It's just a virtual box. He can't read it on virtual box. So that's done. Now, if something would be more complex in this alley, more actually easier. Um, so we needed to find out a code, but normally, normally if you have uh, the computer, system disk normally for instance discord let's include it in this video as well assuming you just want to launch an application that already exists then it's in here here here's your this is your dot desktop files all dot desktop files and I always go here for the icon so when i want genie to auto boot but that, maybe that's not a good example and discord is not yet installed or, or Dropbox is not yet installed and InSync is not installed and all that. But if you just want to start up with any of these applications, the only thing you need to do is open maybe another folder, which I can't do here. So used on XFCE, new window, and go to home, control H, config, auto start. The only thing you need to do is whoop, move it from here to here. Voila. Confirm, I can't copy paste. Yeah, sure I can copy and then paste. So, Nomax is here. What's in here? Well, pretty much the same thing, a bit longer, but pretty much the same thing. Execute Nomax, right? Terminal false, icon, blah, blah, blah. And all this, the rest is just not important. And I can and execute, that's important. So if we going to log out again, and log back in. Voila. Nomax is auto started at boot. It's as simple as that. And now we can uh, auto start any application, any Linux distro, any Linux uh, desktop. All right, enjoy.